The distal biceps tendon, we all know it's a really difficult area to scan and you need lots of probe skills. So get your ultrasound machine and I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step guide of how to get a really good image of the distal biceps tendon. Okay, here we go. So the patient is supine, nice and relaxed, elbow is extended, and I'm also just going to laterally rotate the shoulder, but more importantly, supinate the wrist as much as possible. So the hand is just hanging into that nice position. Now, left side of the screen is now left side here. So what we're going to do, the first thing is to start up at the muscle belly and you can watch the biceps tendon forming and you see it's superficial. Now, most people have no problem finding that whatsoever. Now, as we come further down, I'm just going to show you what lots of people will do is as they go down, you will start to lose it. Now, actually, I'm getting it quite a nice image, but what's going to happen is you need to bring the probe down and you need to go into this pronator teres region because we're trying to look at the radial tuberosity that's sitting in there. Start up at the muscle belly. Now, most people do not struggle to see the short and long head forming into this tendon here. Okay, so you can see the tendon. Now, when you follow it down, just start to move slightly medially. And as you do that, you will come to the side of the screen. Now, if you can't find it, you can use your anisotropy to find it. Okay, so nice and bright tendon there. As we go down, just move medially, but then you've got to do this. What you've got to do is heel down the probe just a little bit as you're coming down. And you can see the tendon here as it goes on to the radial tuberosity. So we'll follow it all the way up. Okay, so what will happen as you come down, you'll lose it. But then what you do is you go medially and heel in the probe and that brings it and keeps it in the middle and you get a nice acoustic window through the pumping artery there. As we go down, you can see it going on to the radial tuberosity. Keep that in the middle. You can use two hands and then just fishtail. So what you're going to do is keep this bit still and just fishtail the other end of the probe round in a clockwise direction because on the right side. And then can you see this nice fibula pattern forming? And you can see that lovely footprint of the distal biceps tendon going into the radial tuberosity. And you get a lovely image just like that. So just to recap, stage one, find it in the middle. We can all do that. Okay. Then as you come down, go slightly medially and heel in the probe. Bring it back to the middle. Tilt. Check that you're on the tendon, which we can see here. Follow it down. There it is. There it is going nicely onto the bone. And then clockwise, like you're going from sort of nine o'clock to 12 o'clock. There you can see that lovely fibula pattern of the distal biceps tendon. Good luck. Did you find that video useful? If you did, don't worry. We've got loads more videos for you. You can like our videos. You can make a comment. You can subscribe to our channel to get all of our new videos. And you can even join our membership. Good luck scanning.